Welcome back to Zank and Roper. And you exactly where to go, which is the video room. Huh? There's something inside the cardboard box. It's... It's a bunch of DVDs! And each one is labeled with someone's name. It must be a video for each of us, he mentioned. Uh, hold on a second! I bet... I better go tell everyone! She ran off. I didn't follow her, I just stood there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. Maybe I'll just wash mine just real quick before anyone gets here. I sorted through the DVDs and found the box and found the one with my name on it. That's the an expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the dark screen and then... I yelled out without realizing and my heart started racing because I saw on the monitor. It was my family! You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching us, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If that ended there, it would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peaks, it would have given me hope, given me strength. Is this as if if this was a normal school, I would have I wouldn't been I wouldn't I would have been happy if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here now, this is totally different. It wasn't living an ordinary high school life. So I had a pretty strong feeling that this video wasn't gonna end there. I hate having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. This time I couldn't even make a sound. The voice just died. Where did everyone go? This is a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice. Of course, it was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Geek Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. What's this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel fear, anger building up inside of me, like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over. Again, single thought raced through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. To get out of here right now, and we make sure they're safe. Makoto, what happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance of the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um. Uh, what's going on? Without a word, I pointed at the cardboard box. Is it like? Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gather around the box, and each of them grab the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they all rush to the monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the, what the fuck? It, it can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, <laughs> yeah, n no way, it's real. <laughs> no way. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I have to leave here. 
As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they all have seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion, except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desires to these, so that's we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. In a classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Who? Huh? Hmm. Let's see. Use the example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war, but both countries want peace, and each commits a s commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country would may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result: neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. That kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says we work together, but our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Uh, don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you could just... What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then. Maybe we should start all just talking. Maybe if we all just start talking what we saw, that'll help us everything get out of our system. Mm. Besides, I think they're all super curious, right? I wonder what's in everyone's video. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Saika. What's in your video, Saika? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Saika? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? Saika! That's enough. Let her go. Like I can't do that. I have to make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to do? We don't have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things I have to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. Oh, sh I have to go find Saika. I say uh, that, but... What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> His reaction. What was in what was in your video, Taga? I, I saw... Sorry. I'm gonna take me some time to figure out how to put it to words. Was it... Did not have a perfect record? What should I do? Everyone... Everyone is really upset. I mean... How could anyone be so calm right now? Why, uh, how can something like that even exist? I don't understand, I don't. To be able to do something like that, it's because they really are a murderous fiend. Was well, in your video, Kyoko. Wow. Why should I tell you? Was in your video, Sakura. I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not accept, upset but by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That's the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose to, so easily. How? Was in your video, Kifumi. Um, so Before you go asking someone else, I think it's polite. You say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I... Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. I don't want to hear yours. I don't... I don't have to say mine. It's the art of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I think that's how it works. Where could she have gone? Couldn't have gone for to check around the school. Wait, what? What's that? Tackle back off. I mean, 
No, I love that. Wait. Talk to Um. Where'd Psycho run off to? Anyways, the video is pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. I mean, but it's fake, right? It's gotta be. So you can believe it. That, but that was real. I'm assuming. What's the face? Is a uh, Psycho's video was well, her being replaced? But I don't know. Someone tell me. Psycho is either in here or in her room. I'm assuming. And no. Wait, I could be looking for stuff. Why was I not looking for stuff? Wait, I found her didn't I? Crap. The ominous music is real. found her in the corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting on the uh, chair, hands on her knees, staring absently on the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or, or angry or no. She didn't have any expression at all. How is that not an expression? She looks terrified. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was that her original mask had been stripped away. Saika, are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? Uh, uh, what did we do end up like this? Why are we doing such a terrible thing to us? Why? I want out. Why? Let me out of here. Saika, calm down. As she trashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think about what might happen to my family. But now, more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to be loose our composure, to stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, people up there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we'd already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the image that has burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we could find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? that happens then I'll get you out of here myself no matter what it takes and when I said that I paused I had no idea what had come over me Sayaka please help me her voice and small and shaky why, why is this happening to me to kill or be killed I just can't take this anymore Sayaka Finally, she raised her hand, my, her face from my chest. She looked at me with those big wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can, can I believe what she said? Uh huh. That you'll help me get out, no matter what it takes. Absolutely. Makoto. You're the only one I could trust, so please. No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm staying by your side. I mean, you are my assistant after- Oh my gosh. You had it, bro. You had it, bro. And then you ruined it. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I could keep going. I... 
I can get through this as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Mm. That smile, I could... I've come to know so well. Returned to her face. It felt to low force, but still. It's a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up! <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up! What's standing up? Do you even have to ask? Your flagpole! Get the hell out of here! Just a minute. No, no, I wanna join in! Damn it! Well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell's up with those videos. <laughs> it's about to come out! I'm gonna... I'm gonna come out my pristine, pure, white... Yeah. Stop it! <laughs> My honesty, innocence, something's about to come gushing out! I balled my fist and took aim and swing as hard as I could. I've never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling my power, and let go with everything I had. Ah! Are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, you are slow, 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 slow! I would have drowned a thousand dollars full course dinner in the time you took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, agonization, it's so lacking! Um, what the hell was that just now? You just wanted, you just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um, well, for now, you want to head back? Yeah. I have an idea. Well, if he had punched Monku and he had explode, he could have thrown it at the windows and see if that makes something. <sighs> That's just my weirdness. I, I'm pretty sure that would have never worked. Monoku had just come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. Psyche and I head back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Psyche. You look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. I'm. You're right. I'm gonna go lay down for a bit. With a nod, a small bow, she disappears with into a room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Psycho was okay. Once that was done, I headed back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I needed some rest of my own. Jeez, seriously, what's going on here? So many, I, there's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. Now we're trapped here? What I saw in the video is real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here, but I could never kill someone. Do the others feel the same? Yeah, it's definitely the biggest problem right now. Huh? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Sorry to come by so late. Psyka? 
Saika, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Just a while, I was laying down in my room. And all of a sudden, the, my door started rattling and shaking. Her, her voice sounded like the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was up. so scared. It was like someone was trying to open the door. Open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. So I was scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let time go by, and I got up and opened the door to check outside. Lakota. But there was no one there. Someone tried to force their way into my room. Oh. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who could have done something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if that someone like that happened to me in the middle of the night? What would I do then? It, you don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, you can't go outside during the night time. That's only a promise we've made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, then... Then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel any better? Huh? What? All it said is school regulations that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't specifically... S specific uh, it didn't state specifically which room. Hey, actually. um... But the two people sharing one room is... You know... Ah! Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. I didn't think about that. Honestly. That didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um... No. I uh, know, me neither. It's just even that I mind the idea, but of course it crossed your mind. You said it. Uh, if you don't mind, could it be maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? If that help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room. But are you sure you're okay with with me staying in yours? Does it like concern you? <laughs> it's fine, I trust you. In that case, then. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Um. Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I head to your room right now. Okay, I've got to trade rooms. So we better trade keys too. <laughs> That's right, we have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Uh, aren't you gonna say that you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Venter several to smile had just made her way to her face. Thank goodness is, is she already started to get back to normal. Okay, it's better if we trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys and then looked back at her again. There was another word expression there. <laughs> Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. Same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, lift the door open while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open no problem. <laughs> Okay, but the showers won't work during night time anyways, right? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See it, see it in the morning. So I could give me the last parting smile. I headed to my room. I looked around as I got out into the call. Everyone else's doors closed. There was no sign of life. Good. There's no one here. Make sure no one was about to spot me. I rushed into Saika's room.
So this is Psycho's room. It doesn't really look any different from mine. It smells nice though. The surveillance camera. A room came with toolkits, but Psycho has a sewing kit. Looks like a note set. And next to his map of bodily but body's vital organs. It's kinda of weird to think into some other people's trash, but I can keep track of the quick. That's it wasn't without a doubt, that's a DVD from with her name that was found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never take it a chance to find out what's on her video. But it's probably best to uh, wait until she brings it up again. This is. I don't think Psycho will like me slipping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon, as I lowered myself to Psycho's bed. A pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Psycho Smith. Maybe I'll bring me some sweet dreams. Feeling a little better than before I fell asleep. Imagine you're in a big spaceship in the middle of the intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, truck drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer and asthma inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game, but... But even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom only exists because of rules. If you're not dead set on returning to the tiny piece of dog pool you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope you've made up your... I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Alright, we're leaving the episode there. We'll see you next time.